All right, this is the fourth example for chapter two. We're going to use the same exact process, and hopefully you can start to follow along and even maybe work ahead as we go through this. Remember, you can pause at any time and maybe try the next couple of steps and see if when you play the video that your work matches um, what we're seeing here. All right, so step one is to draw the picture. We have another car, probably getting sick of cars. We are going to be starting at rest. So once we start to make our list of given information, the initial velocity is zero meters per second because we read the phrase at rest. And it starts at rest, not ends. It accelerates. So if it's already at rest, it's going to speed up. It's going to speed up. So we draw an arrow pointing in the same direction. And that acceleration value is a positive 3 meters per second squared. All right, step three is rephrasing the question. Find blank when blank. So if you can, I'd like you to pause the video and try to fill in those blanks yourself before we go through the answer. All right, so we're finding the time that's T, when the car has gone 100 meters from its starting point, when the final position is 100 meters, if we let the initial position equal zero meters. That way the difference is 100 meters. All right, so by filling in those blanks and practicing this skill, we don't have to guess what tool we're using. We're being told what tool to use the XT equation, because those are the letters that showed up when we filled in this question. All right, so step four is to write out the equation itself without plugging in numbers. And here we go. So the final position is 100. The initial position is zero. The initial motion is zero times our unknown time, plus one half times positive three times t squared. So the left side stays 100. The zero goes away. Zero times t is zero, so it goes away. And so we have three halves, or 1.5 t squared. Divide both sides by 1.5. So we get 66.7 equals t squared. So the last step of the math part is to take the square root of both sides. And so we get 8.16 seconds for the time. All right, that was our step five, all the math part. And then our step six is we check to see, does this make sense? Always a useful skill to be building. And we think to ourselves, okay, the car is starting at rest and it's speeding up. 100 meters is a pretty big distance, so it will take a relatively long amount of time. But the most common math mistake that I see students make is not taking the square root. Hopefully we realize that in 67 seconds, if we just thought that was the final time, 67 seconds, we could walk 100 meters, no problem. So it should be a lot shorter than that because we're a car that is applying the gas pedal. So yes, we don't have to know exactly if it was eight seconds or nine seconds intuitively. We just want to rule out some really extreme incorrect answers. All right, and that is the end of this example. What I am hoping that you are starting to see is that going through this process does not have to take that much time. And the more that we practice these ideas, the better we will get at them at every single step of this. The other thing I want to point out is that, and I think I've said it before, a lot of these examples, when they eventually show up on homeworks, I see students just do step five. There's a whole bunch of numbers on the page, and then all of a sudden there's an answer. Even if it's 
even if that's the correct answer, we really want to be practicing the problem-solving process because you want to take into account the fact that we do all of this setup both for you and for me. Okay, For you, you're putting time and effort into this class. You want what you do to be useful to future you several weeks from now, a month from now, to be able to look back at this and understand what it was you were working on. For us, we want to be able, as your instructors, we want to be able to look at the page and make sure that we know how much of the problem you understand. And if there's a wrong answer at the end, but there's a whole bunch of correct setup, we know that it was just something with the calculator that went wrong. If all we see are the number values and they don't end up correct, it is a lot harder to tell how much of your understanding is there and how much of it um, is just coming from simple plugging things in uh, to your calculator incorrectly. So try to put as much work onto the page as possible. It benefits everybody. We give lots of partial credit uh, if all of those steps are, are there. So I will see you in the next video.